What up? Is the dad that you wish you had? With the genetics, you wish you could inherit. And uh, I guess we're making a... Making a video. I'm going to try to do this quick. I've made like... I've shot a few of them. But it's literally been like two or three weeks in two different leagues. And every time I go to make one, I don't have time to edit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to try to get this out quick. Um, recap everything that happened. And explain why everybody is kind of uh, on the nuts. All right. So let's start here. Um, I've been on Raw for... The first two weeks of Runeterra, first three weeks actually, and the first two weeks of Zero Gravity Gaming, though uh, week one I only subbed in top lane. Cool, cool, cool. Been up against uh, some people who uh, we got some history with, and it's been, you know, a little mid, a little mid, but, you know, it's always good when you meet up with your friends. And this is my advice for, you know, growing old. If your friends aren't encouraging you, to do things that, you know, push you out of your comfort zone and force you to expand. They're not really your friends. So. I want to show you how my friends help me step out of my comfort zone and do things I'm not really that into doing. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, so this is game one. Uh, first game, Maroon Terror against BDE. As I said before, I wanted to play top lane because honestly, a lot of top lanes are made out of the pillow softiest mental state that you have ever seen. Um, as well as most of them cannot play if you don't literally hold their dick while they pee because they'll cry about it if they start losing. So I'm playing top lane. Game one, we're just going to fast forward here. This is really all you need to know. Right about here, I turn into a monster. I can't, sorry, I can't find it. Whatever. I got really big, right? Obviously, I'm playing Nasus. They let me farm. I got 350 stacks. You know, it's enough. Basically, and, and uh, so I thought I was going to be playing against whoever they were saying was the best top laner, and it turned out to be a sub uh, named Downfall. I had a whole joke about, ah, ha, ha, Dom Top, um, you know, beats up on sub with Kane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really cute. Really cute. Right. So anyway, I, I'm strong I as shit. I'm trying to find it. There was a really good T play play around Dragon where I just showed up and said, nah, I think I win this. Save the rest of your mana, um, Is this it? So I'm already pretty strong. Here we go. I'm already pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. They try to sneak me. But they don't know. Can't sneak a monster. And Hooks is landing all sorts of bindings. I'm healing for so much. And I'm just Q, Q, Q. That's, I have 500 stacks. I mean, the game is over at this point. If you can't kill me immediately. And I obviously, they couldn't burst me out. That's game one. Easy peasy. We do that. So game two, they give me Cho'Gath, which is one of my strongest top lane champions. Um, and they pick Gwyn. So I'm going to be real here. I'm old. It's hard to remember what all these new fucking champions do. I don't know who the fuck I can beat and who I can't. And uh, Gwen is rough. Apparently, um, supposedly Cho'Gath does well into it, but I was told that it's because I kept uh, Q in the wave, which allowed Gwen to just do whatever the fuck she wanted. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you can see the score at the top. You can see the score. It went badly. That was on me, 100%. Um, I lost... Yeah, yeah. Now, what you did see, though, is what's going to be a recurring theme. And like I said, it's my friends pushing me to do things that I don't normally do. So, as we saw in the initial, and it happened a few more times, 
it was my old friend Swag camping me. Now, as many of you know, I'm an inside kind of guy. Okay. Sip my whiskey, drink my cigar, maybe do it in the backyard, but like camping in the wild? No. So what my friend Swag did was, you're not into camping, so I'm going to bring camping to you. And it was magnificent. I appreciate him broadening my horizons. So game three, a little rough. Whatever, he's playing Rumble. Whatever. He eats me. He eats me right here. And then... His friend starts coming. Because again... Swag missed me so much. He just wanted to be close. So you see him on the hacker room? Ah, uh, get your shit flashed. Oh, oh, and there's a Galio. By the way, they uh, picked uh, Shin, Galio, Soraka. Basically, what they would do is they would alt to top with somebody's global because they were scared. And I understand. I mean, I would hate to get my ass whooped at a video game by a guy twice my age. I mean, 70-year-old whoop my ass. I'd be fucking livid. Like, fuck are you talking about? Can't even move your arthritic ass fingers. So, I get it. This game, I think they had a Galio and a shit. It was just fucking annoying. But, uh, yeah, we... It happened. So, we lost to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three game loss. Okay. So, I don't actually have video of it, but there was a... Um, Week one, ZGG, I filled in game three, uh, uh, top lane for Roar, I played Malphite, played poorly, but then I played correctly, because I kept ulting the Jinx, who was fed, doing my shit. However, in the final fight, basically to win the game, I went, hey, there's a Jinx, I'm gonna ult the Jinx. I ulted what I thought was the Jinx, and then I hear, triple kill, and it's the Jinx. So, the other team had a Nico. I don't know if the Nico switched into the Jinx or I just messed up the character models again. It's my old. Whatever. But that was on me. That was a misplay that basically cost us the game because my whole job was to just find Jinx, ult Jinx, and I didn't do it. Honestly, you know what? So far this year, I've been really disappointing. Um, so, like, you know, if you want to call my ex-wife and tell her she was right, I understand. I am disappointing. Okay, so week two and Runeterra, we're playing, um, I don't even fucking know the name of the team, but they got my good friend from way, way back, Barish Jew. Oh, yeah, um, the team BDE had also my good friend from way back, Fishing. Like, these are people we've been playing with for like five, six years because I need to get off this fucking game. Speaking of my good friend Fishing. Let's not forget that they put fishing on Soraka and Galio duty to make sure that I couldn't just beat up on their top lane. I mean, also maybe to make sure that our support or our bot lane and support couldn't beat up on their bot lane because our bot lane and support are really good. But, you know, also to make sure I couldn't stomp. So, you know, I be, I warp, I got like Steph Curry gravity in League of Legends drafts. I warp the way you play the game. Because if you don't hold me down, it's over. I'm finna snowball on your top laner like your mama did to your daddy last night. So anyway, moving on. I'm actually in the mid lane now, but it's whatever, whatever. We rolling, we rolling. So my bot lane is already like stomping at 10 minutes. So I'm just here to not feed, right? That's all I need to do. And uh, I'm doing a good ass job of it. And, you know, let's go. This dragon fight right here, sorry, this is what I was trying to find. This is where I was the first time. But this dragon fight pretty much ends the game. So they come on me, again, <laughs> pause. They come on me. Uh, some Again, Bear, you know, congrats on his new baby. But, you know, just camping. All over the book, kid's nuts. Not his kid, me. I'm the kid, even though I'm also the old man. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's slang. It holds up. 
So anyway, they're setting up for the dragon. And and this is basically where game one ends. So they're starting this dragon, right? I don't even remember if they get the dragon. It's stolen by Dayu on the Jinx. There's the three-person shockwave. That's it, though. That's the game. Okay, so game two. I get Ari. I play like Dookie Cheeks. Again, game two is not my friend. All right, so game three. Let's see what happened in game three. Uh, they left Anivia up. First of all, I am I am so washed. I don't know how y'all be losing to me. I be disappointed in me. But the thing is, I just be absorbing shit. But we, we wind up doing okay again because the bot lane is just hard carrying us. Yep. Die you on, on Vayne. We got to 30 minutes and he's strong. And that's game, right? Sorry, I didn't show any of the camping. I don't have time for this shit no more. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have like a better not four weeks jammed into one video, but we'll see. Okay, so, and then just now, tonight, we had um, a game against... Um... Who the fuck was that? I don't need... Oh, Monkeys in Training. Goddamn Monkeys in Training. So anyway, this went three games. First of all, he picks Yon into my Nivea. They left my Nivea up all three games. Apparently, they didn't know it was me. Either way, I got first blood. Uh, this was actually a really nice first blood. Let's bring this back. Let's bring this back. Game one. So, the thing is, I'm starting to think that I must be, like, so out of shape that I can't even play three video, uh, three video game games in a row. But my man's here decided to aggress on me like a dumbass. So, he's here. And he just gets stunned. Ignited. Kaplooped. Mean. That shit mean. There's another nice Anivia play a little further in. Right here. This is nice. This is why you should be in my Anivia. Because occasionally, I'm good at this shit. Occasionally, I'd be like, don't you know I'm Black Froggin? Actually, don't. that's a lie. Don't you know Froggin is White Rodney? We get the Twitch. Here comes the teleport from the fat ass Camille, too. Jones played out of his fucking mind. That's that guy. So on the back line, you see this boy right here. Look at that. 30 health zonias into that beautiful oh. ult oh, yeah. plus the wall to separate them yeah, from top, everybody go else. Top, go top, go top. In top. Raise a glass to me. I'm the fucking shit. So anyway, game two, they play Pantheon into my Nivea, and it's a, it's a rough time. I don't play well. I don't play well at all. So like a Nivea scales, though. So eventually I get useful. Um, but I'm going to be honest here. Uh, we threw, and by we threw, I mean I threw. I got caught out like at the end a couple times. Right? I got caught out a couple times. We gave them soul. Um, honestly, part of it is my fault. I'm not getting enough early pressure. Um, I also just literally could not click on a fucking um, trinket ward. I think we get out of here, though. But yeah, um, Stryker and, and Jones were playing out of their fucking mind. Fantastic smite there. And then we leave. Right, um, I forget what happens, but we throw, we throw. So then game three, again they give me a Nivea into the Yone, we killing it. Bot lane's doing great, and I'm just inting my fucking face off. Eventually I turn it around, yeah 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 yeah, but I'm inting my face off. Uh oh, here was a nice play I think. I don't even remember. We were trying to hold the base. I remember this part, and then I come up, we lose a tower. What happens here? Oh, this is nice. I I don't know. Either way, point is, I'm tired of these long ass games, and 
Also, I need to get good and understand that my LLC is literally get mediocre gaming, but I need to actually get good. And uh, it, I don't know. I'm, I'm making myself sad, which is bad because I already get take pills because the world makes me sad. So I don't even know what the fuck to do. So anyway, I'll probably edit this video tomorrow, hopefully. Um, now you're up to speed. Thank you. Um, I don't know if this is an ugly update or I don't know what the fuck this is. Is it mine lane? It's not a mine lane because my mind not laying it. My mind has been behind in CS. Like, fuck? Been kind of losing lane. Um, just rough. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not worried about it. It's the winter. Once the sun comes out, seasonal depression goes away. I'm going to be shitting on y'all. Stay safe.